Hi guys, it's Garth Holman from teachersfortomorrow.net and this is part two of Google Docs. We're going to focus on adding uh, images and links to your Google Doc. Um, last tutorial I built a Google Doc that I called Testing Remote Learning. So by going to Recent in my drive, I can see that that's right there. Um, I'm going to delete that. So I can just delete it. It's gone. And what I'm going to use is this one. So I kind of put some text already on here so we're not watching me type. So as you go down, the tutorial is going to kind of cover these things, and I'm going to add things directly in it. This will be available at the end. I'll make a link to it so you can go in and add comments like we're going to see if you choose to to see how that works. So the first thing I want to talk about is adding images. Um, <clears throat> images can be added a, a couple of ways. So we're going to start with um, adding an image through insert. And when we go to images, you have options. I'm going to show you some of these options, okay? Um, you know, by camera is you can take a picture, right, by URL. Photos is your Google Photos. Drive, if you've saved anything to your drive. But you have a search to the web icon on here. So, you know, in a future when I'm going to do a tutorial, I'm going to use the idea of the Crusades as an example. So this pulls up a search right here where you can see images from the web and you can choose what you might want to use. Um, so as I scroll through, I might just say, you know, for practical purposes, I don't want to spend too long here. I click it and I say insert. And that image will automatically insert into my document. I have power or control to manipulate that so I can make it smaller or bigger. But that's one way to put an image in. Another way to put an image in is to do what's called screenshot. Um, and I did not add this for the PC users, but I'll add this here. For the next one, I'll date, make sure I do if I don't now. Um, for a Mac, I have a Mac. It's Command plus Shift plus 4 all at one time. So Command plus Shift plus 4. I'm using a Mac. And it lets you literally drag across any image you see on the web and let go. That saves directly to your desktop. So there's that image on my desktop. If you're using a Chromebook, it is control shift and the button above the number six. I don't know what to call that. So um, maybe for the next one, I'll put a picture of that on there of the keyboard and kind of point it out. Um, if you're using a PC, you're going to use want to use snag it or snip it. Depends on which one yours comes with. So you can use your um, typically on a PC. It's at the bottom here and you have a way to search. You can type in snip it or snag it. Um, that is a screen capturing tool that's built into a PC. If you don't know how to use that, you know, let us know and we'll make a quick tutorial with a PC showing you how that works. It would only take a couple seconds. So the other thing we can do um, is I can add an image by a screenshot off the web. So I went out on the web and I had found this image about my maps. I can literally drag it in as well once I have the image. So this is a student work from my class um, who was doing a my map activity and this is their final my map of the year. So there's a lot there. Um, they worked on it all year, but that's another way to bring a screenshot in. So screenshots can be brought in multiple ways, right? You can upload, you can search the web, I can do my camera, or I can just go out on the web and find the pictures I want and then screenshot those and put those into my document. That's helpful to bring imagery into your document. So the next thing we want to talk about today are links. And there's really three ways to put links in. So I'm going to highlight these or make them a little bit bigger so we can uh, see them. So I'll change the font to like a 24. And I'm going to do these um, by what they said. So by a link. How do I do a link? Well, I can go to any website. So now I'm on our Teachers for Tomorrow website. This has got the links to everything we're doing. Here's the Google form you can fill out if you have questions. I'm just going to copy that address. So I click the address bar. On a Mac, I use a shortcut of Command uh, C that copies. Um, and then I go back to my building my doc. And I can literally just paste that. And there it is. That is a live link. Now, when you click it, notice it does not immediately open. It opens a little dialog box that you actually have to click again. So you have to make two clicks in this to get it to work. But that works. So that's putting it in by a link. 
The other way you can do this is by a word. So I can highlight a word in my text, go up to the link icon, click it, and I can paste in that same address and say apply. Now, looking at these two, I tend to like words better than I like links. They just look better when you have lots of text. Um, so if we go to our um, Google Meet here, you can see it's done by words. And then the words you click and there is links built in. So this is using a table, which we'll get to in the next, uh, one of the next tutorials, how to, how to do that. So that's pretty easy. And then the third way is by an image. So a lot of people um, like to make images links. So I'm going to insert an image from my computer. So I have that one called My Maps. So I can look and see there's My Maps. I screenshotted it. I put it on my document. There's my image. So by clicking it, I can now go up to um, Insert and I can put a link in. If I paste that link in, the image is a link. Now here's the issue. A kid knows this is a link, a student knows the word's a link, but they don't know the image is a link. So you would have to type something like click image to go to the link. You have to let them know that the image is something. Um, you know, and I would space it to the middle, make it more like that. So the reality would be if I click the image, I now have the link appear, I click it, it's gonna take me where I want them to go. So what we looked at here were three um, different ways to add imagery. We added imagery through the um, through the search the web. That brings open a box here you can type in. <clears throat> we did it by doing a screenshot. Then we added links three different ways. We put a link in, we did it by a word, and we did it by an image. So that's all we're gonna do for this tutorial. Um, join us for the next one where we work with tables.